Hey class, hope you're having a great week, getting close to the end of the semester. Have this week's spreadsheet for the estate plan and then for next week, the debt plan. And those are the last of the spreadsheets. And then you'll your last assignment will be accumulating all of the spreadsheets into one master spreadsheet here. So I wanted to just go over the estate plan spreadsheet real quick. You're welcome to, you know, copy this or whatnot. And a lot of this is just going to be you estimating because it's, some of these can be big numbers as you're going to see. So plug in your information. Um, you know, this is a situation where a single 25 have 50 bucks in cash, 12,000 in debt. So a negative net worth at the moment of 11,950. So at the moment, absolutely no estate tax liability. Projection in 10 years to have 500,000 in assets of a home, stocks and bonds, and a rental property. 20 years, have what you had previous, but you also have, uh, instead of just only a fourplex, additional residential and commercial real estate. In 30 years, uh, additional 40 years, even more venture capital, uh, ownership of small businesses. And if you are still uh, single at the time, then you have 8 million. And so you're, you're able to write off a little bit different, uh, 5 million. And so you still have a, a state tax liability of a million. And in 50 years, 16 million, 4.2. Now, if you were married, uh, the 8 million, you still have a zero tax liability, but at 16 million, um, with, with having a little over 5 million per spouse, then um, the tax liability for this would actually be um, pretty close to the same. Actually, be, be cut in half. So it's going to be like two million one ten in this scenario. So think about that. Um, kind of thinking out loud. Yeah, it would be two point something million a year if you're married. So. Um, estimate your dependents, estimate your different, um, how you can divide your assets, and um, if you do have, how you can designate each beneficiary, each child, each trust, or whatever. Uh, designate a guardian of your minor children, so in this situation, a sister. We implement a, year, a will, yes, when. We write a letter of the last instruction, yes, when, when you get married. We create a trust, yes, when, 40 years from now. What type of trust? An irrevocable living trust. Um, the primary purpose of a trust in this situation is to avoid estate taxes and require beneficiaries to use the money for education. So you, if you want the living trust, so you can have designation. Um, so you can make sure that the money is being used the way you would like. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Keep up the good work. Keep working on your book report for the millionaire, millionaire next door. And go from there. Thanks.